Hey guys. Okay, so today I want to talk to you all about rendered blades. What on earth do I mean by rendered blades? Well, quite simply, I'm talking about these things right here. Now, they typically appear on houses in areas like Ashgrove. However, they can pop up on houses all across the city. Now, in the past, we've had absolutely no issues getting approval to remove these things. However, in recent times, we've seen a really, really, and I mean really, strong push to retain them as part of our applications. Now, I totally understand why they want to preserve them. They are a unique character feature, let's be real. And I personally think in some instances, they can make a house look like a grand old dame. They can actually be a good thing. However, I totally understand that they aren't everyone's cup of tea. See, most of the time, what people want to do is they want to raise the house up and they want to nest the garage under the front corner of the house. And having a rendered post smack bang in the front there, yeah, it's going to mess with their maneuvering. They don't like that. <laughs> or as a client said to me the other day, having these big bulky posts on the lower level actually restricts the amount of light getting into that lower level. Yeah, I can kind of see where he's coming from. But here's the thing, moral of the story, times have changed. You may have been able to do in the past, you may hate them, but unfortunately, if you turn up to a site and you see these rendered blades, it now needs to be an alarm bell for you to say, oh, that's going to influence the design. We might have to retain them. We might have to replace them like for like. Yeah, keep that in mind. <laughs> so that covers up everything that I want to talk about today. As I always say, until next time, thanks for watching. For all you red tape lovers out there, I have one thing to say. Well, no, actually, I've got three. Number one, the advice provided in these videos is general in nature. It's not site specific. You would be a silly billy to go and make financial decisions based on this advice without first checking with the town planner. Don't be a silly billy. Number two, Brisbane Town Planning is in no way linked to Brisbane City Council. The views expressed in these videos are my own, not council's. So if you don't like them, blame me, not council. Number three, what was my number three? Oh yeah, the views expressed in these videos are accurate at the time of recording. If you're watching this video back 10 years from now, the views may not be so accurate. That's all.